Okay, so moving on to the other foot, we're going to lubricate the foot. As I said, you can use talcum powder or moisturizer or a, an oil. And we're going to start by effleuraging with a nice hand cuddle, so praying motion first coming down the inside of the foot, around the ankle with your hands. So they arrive down at the ankle together, these hands, one on the top, one on the bottom, and coming back at the same time to the toes. So you have a nice foot cuddle. Try and keep your palms down so that you're using the whole of your hand as well as your fingers rather than that sort of move. So we're going to keep the hands in contact with the feet. Nice firm pressure, watching your client's face just to make sure they're not wincing. And you've got to get through that tickle barrier for not being too light and ticklish. Then we're going to support the ankle and rotate one way. Nice big circle to manipulate this joint. We don't often get the chance to rotate the ankle. It's very good to make sure that the ankle doesn't get too stiff as we get older. It helps with walking, standing. So we need our feet to be as healthy as possible. So we're going to rotate one way, not squashing the toes at the same time, and then we're going to rotate the other way. Nice big wide rotating passive move. So the client is completely relaxed and it's you doing the rotating. Then we're going to push the foot towards the head in a nice pumping motion. And then we're going to come on top of the foot and a nice pulsing motion down towards the floor. Just to stretch those muscles a little bit more, supporting into the ankle all the time. I'm going to friction in between the ankle bones with the tips of the fingers it helps to just support with your thumbs underneath and when you feel a crunchy bit in the ankle you're just going to work on that one a little bit longer and this is going to stimulate the body's natural endorphins natural painkillers so we're going to start off with a nice slow rhythmic friction and then again if we've got somebody who has a painful ankle and joints we might go a little bit faster and friction this is going to apply warmth get the blood flow stimulate the endorphins give that analgesic effect if you do have a swollen ankle, don't forget, we're going to be a little bit lighter where there's any puffiness or swelling. But this is good for loosening up the lymph nodes and unblocking them in this area. So it might help a little bit of ankle swelling. And then we're going to come down the foot, hand over hand, just to effleurage and link. doesn't really matter what order you put these moves in terribly. So I wouldn't worry too much if you get the order the wrong way round. So I'm going to do a Chinese burn now. I'm going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze all the way down to the ankle and effleurage back up. So squeeze, 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 squeeze all the way down and back. So doing maybe between three to five of each of these movements. Now 
I'm going to knuckle, supporting the top of the foot, I'm going to knuckle all the way down or around the ball of the foot first. This is covering all the reflex points on the ball of the foot, the stress centre, and then I'm going to go all the way down the foot from the ball of the foot down to the heel. And then I'm going to get the thumbs and I'm going to do a zigzag move from one side of the foot to the other all the way across with a bit of pressure, having the fingers just on the top for support, going all the way down to the heel and then back up to the toes. A nice zigzag motion and again if you enjoy doing this and your client seems to enjoy having it done then you can do as many repetitions as you like there isn't any right or wrong way to do the feet as long as you start and finish with effleurage then I'm going to do a nice circle on the top of the toe the big toe first which represents the head and a nice light circle with the index finger around the top of the big toe. Then coming across to the next toe and then the third and then the fourth and the little toe. And then blending with a nice alternate effleurage down towards the ankle so that I can finish with a nice effleurage down the ankle around the foot and cuddling back up, making sure those palms are down and that the whole of the hand is in contact with the foot. And then on the last one, you're just going to make sure it's firmer. So as a full stop, you're going to firmly and slowly pull down over the feet to the toes and flick it away. Then you're going to cover up the foot bring them together and sanitize your hands, either with a sanitizer or washing your hands. Well, there isn't any alternative really to washing your hands. So I would then go and wash my hands nice and thoroughly after touching the feet.